Once you get started growing hydroponically using Kratzky buckets, you're quickly gonna ask yourself, how can I top these up without having to do it myself? Today, I'm gonna to build a system that I found online that uses gravity and a few little adapters to make a completely gravity-fed Kratzky system. So here's the basic concept. I put a float valve in one bucket. This bucket will essentially be free from any plants. That'll stop roots grabbing onto the float valve and turning it on when I don't need it to go on and filling them back up and drowning the plant that's got those oxygen roots. So this first bucket will be fled from my hydroponic nutrient reservoir, which I'll make another video about, but it's 500 liters. I just set that up and fill it up, keep it topped up, and it feeds all my other systems from there. So I only need to focus on the pH, electrical conductivity of that one reservoir. So essentially it'll decant through this float valve into the first bucket. Then I've got some little tub outlet points, which are gonna sit around a third of the way up on these buckets. It's, these buckets are about 30 centimeters high. I reckon I'll put it at about 10, 15. And essentially that will just sit and plug in and then each bucket can be joined up. Now, gravity should A, drain into this bucket using the float valve. Then it should balance along all these different buckets to keep that third level of nutrient always topped up. So that's the design. We're gonna put it together and see if it works. Set the float valve as well as the bucket outlets. I've got one of these sort of step drill bits. This lets me measure how big I want that hole to be. So I've already measured these buckets and roughly 10 centimeters brings me to the bottom of this red line. Now to make it consistent on everything, I think I'm just gonna drill into the middle of the O and that way I can set it to the same on each one. But of course that wouldn't necessarily matter because in theory, however high you set this bucket, Gravity will do the work. So if this bucket is on a couple of stands, uh, then the gravity system will fill to here. Gravity will fill this bucket to the same level until the pressure equalizes. So I can simply start this bucket a bit higher and then lower it down during the grow season. So for this bucket, the lowest I'm gonna wanna go is about that one third. So I'm gonna use the O as the place where I put it, noting that if I need to adjust the levels in these, I'll simply raise this bucket later. These little float valves I got off eBay, they simply unbolt. You've got a little rubber seal that goes on the inside and then you can adjust the water level using this as well. The next thing to do is just tighten that up as much as we can. These are obviously round buckets. We're gonna try and make this fit. We're pretty good there. Now the next thing I'm gonna put on is a little 13 mil uh, clip. This will go to my nutrient reservoir. To make sure that fits, because it's metal, I'm gonna put a little bit of Teflon around it as well. Uh, one more thing I noticed about these tiny float valves is inside them, there's this tiny sort of filter. Now in a hydroponic system, I think that's just gonna clog up. So let's just get rid of that one. All right, cool. So that's ready, 13 mil outlet. That feels like a pretty good seal. Hopefully this doesn't leak. So you might say, well, this is a bit of a waste of a bucket. Look, it's an experiment. We're gonna give it a go. That's what hydroponics is about. The next thing we wanna do is connect one of these tub outlets which are 13 mil poly uh, onto the other side at that same level, hopefully. There is our gravity system. As you can see, it's slightly lower. That'll just make sure that the float valve doesn't overfill. Now, each of these buckets will only need one outlet. We can just run a T into each one and that'll keep them topped up. We'll set up. Pretty well at the same level. That's gonna be fine. We can adjust anything with a few little stones. Okay, we just need two more holes for our net cups. Just get rid of that plastic, we'll come up in here later. Okay, then we need some 13 mil poly and some teas. The next thing to do Let's go see if it leaks. Okay, as you can see, bucket, float valve, outlet, into the 13 mil polys, outlet, and outlet. This is just plugged into my hydroponic reservoir, so we'll just plug this in. All right, all right let's see if it works. Okay, the buckets aren't leaking, they're filling up, the gravity system is working well, let's go put them in the ground. 
Well, I'm not going to film myself digging a hole for you, but I have dug a bit of a trench and what I'm going to do is just uh, top it around with a bit of mulch and that's just going to keep the sun off. I did measure the water temperature of these when they were sitting out just in full sun and it was too high. So as this is an outdoor grow, I do need to put them in a bit of a trench in order to keep that water cool. But essentially you can see the system is now fully plugged in and these plants are happily growing. In fact, it has been a couple of weeks since I put them in and they've already drunk a fair bit of nutrient solution, which is absolutely great. So we just got tomatoes in here, uh, which are gonna be the test of this system. So again, as a reminder, what we're expecting here is that these tomatoes drink down two thirds of this nutrient solution, and then we'll keep the bottom third topped up using our automatic system that we've been building. Now, at the moment, in order to start these off, I have put a switch in here, which I have got switched off. So that's allowed me to top these buckets up to full, and these plants have simply been growing down. Once they reach around this bottom third, or whatever level I've set in my nutrient bucket, I will switch this on, and that'll enable the buckets to stay it constantly topped up at that level and then the top two thirds will be air roots and we've also had a bit of rain now being an outdoor grow system obviously that rain does cause some concerns for a diluting the hydroponic nutrient solution but also in these cracky buckets filling up the uh, bucket back up to the air roots and drowning the plants so in this uh, final bucket in our gravity system I'm going to put in just a little overflow so when this system is switched on if we do get rain and it fills those buckets up it'll simply flow back out and over the uh, emergency exit so you can see in my nutrient bucket we've got the float valve which is hooked up to the reservoir we don't have any leaks either which i'm really happy about well that's all for today on the infinite crat key bucket I'll keep these tomatoes growing and keep you updated through the growing season with some longer videos as they mature. At the moment, it's been a few more weeks and they are looking really nice. They're growing really well. Even with a little bit of rain, we haven't had to adjust the pH or electrical conductivity, but I will keep you updated on how they grow. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit like button or subscribe or just even just drop a comment below would be great. That's it for today. 